Hello. What you're looking at here is a Peter Bruegel print of the uh, famous uh, the farmer's wedding, uh, or the uh, the wedding feast, it's called, or it's been known to go by other names. As you can see, uh, it's quite a large print. It's uh, 21 by 30 inches in size. Um, I found this uh, about 10 years ago at an estate auction here at Ottawa, Ontario. And uh, I fell in love with it and I brought, brought it home and I've tried, I've been doing some research on this here for the past uh, 10 years. And I've hit a, um, a concrete wall um, because this is an, an unusual print from all the others that I have seen in the past. Uh, simply because this print here, as you can see, if I can take this out of here, as you can see, this print is put on a piece of corrugated board. And if you can see the sticker here, I'll try and get it as close as I can here for you to see. If not, well, I'll take a snapshot of it and put it on. It was purchased by the Arts and Crafts Store in Kingston, Ontario, which is roughly about 60, 70 miles outside of Ottawa here by the uh, American-U.S.-Canada border. And here you have um, the name Peter Bruegel, what the picture was, uh, the wedding feast or whatever, printed by Anton Scroll uh, in, uh, in Austria. And in Austria, in Wien, Austria, uh, that's where many of Peter Bruegel's paintings are hanging the originals. Wish I had one of those. Uh, as you can see here, it's got the year 1933, so that leads me to think that uh, it was purchased in 1933. Uh, the frame is just a normal wooden frame. There's nothing too special about it. I have a couple of small little nicks right there and here. And the rest of it looks all pretty good, in good condition. And uh, when I hit the brick wall is I went to uh, our National uh, Museum of Canada here in Ottawa and I went to do some research and I had the help of uh, the people inside, inside the museum and uh, what we came up with was some paperwork on uh, Anton Scroll, what he did and whatever else, the, the, the type of re reproduction prints they, uh, they are. Also we found a uh, catalog that was passed on the key to the uh, the paint stores, uh, the art dealers and everything else. For them to see uh, other paintings that were available at the time by other artists. And, uh, and as you can see, there was different artists at that time. Different paintings they could buy. Now, what is... What I found on the back of this here, on the back of the sticker, there's a, a, an item number, which is, uh, the number is G109. And where we found the number was on this little little picture here, which is the same print as this here. But I don't know what the size of it is, or if it's smaller or bi bigger, I have no idea. But anyways, the number, is the, the exact one is this one here that's on the print. Uh, I'm trying to find information on the why it was put on this, this type of board uh, and stuff. It may even be up for, for sale uh, if a good offer comes along. Uh, but if you have any information, please help me out because there's a lot more people that know their arts out there than me. So any information would be welcome. And as you can see, I in all the years I've been shopping eBay, I've been uh, going all over to Google and stuff, and I have never found a print of that size from uh, Peter Bruegel. So if someone wants to get back to me, you can email me, and I'll leave my, my, uh, my email address online. And uh, please, any information would, would be grateful to have. Thank you.